Okay, I'm a little blown away with this little tip today. I had no idea, but I was reading Casey Bell's Shake Up Learning blog on best practices for remote learning, and she told me to look at the activity dashboard to see who's been accessing my docs or slides or whatever. So I never knew in this top right-hand corner what that little arrow did, and I guess I've never clicked on it. So when I click on that arrow, I can see that this Google Classroom best practice, I put it on the website, and so I haven't shared it with anybody, but the viewers, check this out. Look who has already looked at my document on the website within the hour. Um, I can go to a viewer trend, um, daily unique views. Obviously, I'm just sending it out there. If there was a comment trend on it, what the sharing history was, and what any of the privacy settings are kind of love that so like here is our module one for flexible learning boot camp again if i click on that arrow i can see that um, it says for popular documents individual viewer data is not available see viewer trend instead so i can go over here to viewer trend and i can see that 429 viewers unique viewers so maybe some of you looked at it twice uh, since July 28th, and then the last four days it's gone down. But you can see the highest viewing of the slideshow was on September 23rd. So I can go back to comment trend and look there. New comments, replies, unresolved comments. This is just kind of cool. So pay attention to what you're sharing with your kids and see which of your kids are accessing your work. Slam!